Our aim here on the Muslim Kids Show is to bring you the finest artists, authors and performers in the known universe. So to start off with, I went to visit a professional calligrapher who beautifies the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his work. Sit back, hold tight and check out the fantastic calligraphy of Abu Yahya and be sure to stick around for our upcoming call-in all or nothing quiz. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome once again. We are in Luton today to see a fantastic calligraphy artist. Goes by the name of Abu Yahya. He did this hat for me, how cool is that? Let's go see some of his amazing artwork. Come on. Assalamu alaikum brother. Wa alaikum as brother Abdul Halil. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, how are you man? I'm good, good. Nice Alhamdulillah. to see you after about a year now. Uh, about a year, yeah, inshallah. I uh, thought we you know, would come and see you because you did my hat for me and I, I yeah, really I love remember it. that. So I wanted to see if we could come in and see some more of your artwork. Yeah, you're more than welcome. That's fantastic. Yes. Thank Please. you, brother. Thank you for coming. Brother, this is fantastic artwork, mashallah. You know, I wonder, could you give us a brief explanation for each one, maybe? Starting with this, this picture of the Kaaba, inshallah. This is um, the painting I made uh, when the COVID was on its peak and the Kaaba was emptied from uh, anyone to visit, you know, the holy place. Mm -hmm. uh, so the colours in this one represents the different colours, different races, people from different backgrounds when they're visiting. So even the Kaaba was emptied physically, the people could not go in, but the Kaaba is still in our heart. Yeah. And, um, you know, each prayer, we imagining ourselves that we are, we are in front of the Kaaba. So that's uh, what this painting is represent. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, you know, representing our feelings mm -hmm. that uh, in this hard time, we could, we could not visit Kaaba, but that does not mean that it is out of, from our yes, heart. far from it now. Yeah. Okay. Um, this uh, this big one, uh, which is saying Shahada la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, and also it represents the color of universe. Mm. Um, you can see the different color. You can see like um, a sunset mm. uh, there, and also you know the color in the nature. So yes. they're all representing the different color in, uh, in 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 nature. I mean that's quite a big one. How long would something like that um, take for you to complete? Uh, this is a ninety by ninety centimeter uh, mm. painting. Um, so it depends upon if I'm going, if I'm doing a painting in one go, I might f finish in one day. I would take about six, seven, eight hours in one go. You could do that. You could do that in one day. Yes. Wow. But when I start doing it, I do from morning till, uh, till I finish painting. Mm -hmm. But because of um, the nature of this painting, I do a, a part by part because the background have to be dry. Then I have to do the first layer of calligraphy. Then I have to do the second layer of um, the glitter artwork. And then I have to do the finishing touch as well. Mm -hmm. So it's normally a week. I'll, I'll give a week for a painting like this to, oh, to get it done. Um, this small one, uh, uh, the Wheeling Dervish, that's okay. my calligraphy artwork. Always spinning. Uh, it, yes, uh, and it says basically Ahad, the oneness of God. Mm -hmm. So like being a Muslim, our body, our each action represents um, the oneness uh, of Allah. Mm -hmm. And this is what it says, and it says Ahad, Ahad around it as well. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's the Wheeling Dervish. Um, the second one uh, on this side, uh, Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wallahu Akbar. Mm. Uh, very famous uh, zikr. Yes. Everyone does it. And also, again, it's showing the color of the nature in the background. So, is that meant to well. represent the universe? The, yes, exactly. And then the, and then the zikr. <clears throat> the zikr acts underpinning the, 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 the whole breadth of his zikr. Exactly. This one. Beautiful. Um, this one. This one is my, my favorite. I have to tell you, bro. When you leave today, it might, you know, it might go missing. So, <laughs> keep um, an eye on it. <laughs> um, this is uh, one of my favorite as well. Uh, I call it a galaxy of uh, letters. Okay. Uh, there's a different Arabic alphabets, basically. Uh, I mix it, the calligraphy and the graffiti art okay, together yes, to, represent, yes. to represent uh, this painting. And the one behind it, um, oh. it's a Hasbi Allah. Hasbi Allah. Uh, I basically I made this painting for my house. So I made a couple of them. Mm. Then my wife chose another one for, for our house. And uh, Hasbi Allah, Allah is enough for me. Uh -huh. And imagine if Allah 
is enough for you. You don't need anything That's else. That's all you, you need, need yes, yes. That is fantastic, brother. Thank you so much for inviting us into your home to see this amazing artwork. I am absolutely stunned by the level of quality of your work. So thank you once again, brother, for showing us your work. Um, you're most welcome. But this is not the only artwork I have. I have lots of other art pieces as well. This is just a, a very tiny fraction of my artwork. So you've got more? Yes, I do have. I have a lot of art, <laughs> Where artwork. Where do you keep ready. it? Where is it? Where is all this artwork? Uh, let's go. Okay, thanks. We'll go. <laughs> let's go. Check out some more artwork. Come on. Oh, Abu Yaya. I, you know, I noticed this. Uh, piece here when we came in but you know it's really amazing very intriguing can you tell me a little bit about this particular piece so this is i made it according to my own house arrangements with the color scheme okay uh, let's say bismillah name with the start by the name of allah mm -hmm. so whenever you're going out or when you're coming in me my kids all of us we do read this so it's like a reminder for us that everything starts by the name of allah so i've done this one according to um the setup of my, of my own house. Brother, I notice you've got even more bits and pieces in your house. This amazing piece here as well, which is on the wall. It's beautiful. Tell us something about this one, Michelle. So this is a uh, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Mm. I write down and then you can see in small calligraphy writing as well, the same kalma written as well. Uh, multiple times in the small calligraphy writing. Uh, on the right hand side, there's Allah, and then some of Allah's popular names Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, Al Maurice, Al Aziz, mm -hmm. Al Hayyul, Al Qayyum. And on the left hand side, there's the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and some of his most popular names like Hamid, Mahmud, Naha, Sadiq, Al Muzammil, Al Mudassir. Um, and this is a couple of years I've done this one and Alhamdulillah so far it's not faded or anything. <laughs> Most of the time people think it's, it's a sticker on but it's actually I my own. It was a sticker, bro. Uh, it's it was. Uh, my own handwriting Mashallah. on the wall. So perfectly round as well. How do you get it so round? Um, the geometry, if you know in Islamic art, yes. geometry is very, very important. So uh -huh. I use the geometrical tools to, to make it uh, accurate uh, lining and spaces and the circles. Whoa, subhanAllah, truly amazing work. Guys, make sure you look out for part two with our brother, Abu Yahya. See you there. SubhanAllah, shout out to Abu Yahya and his family for allowing us into their home and experiencing his artwork firsthand. Part two of our visit with Abu Yahya is going to be on our next show, so make sure you don't miss it. Right, guys, it's time for the Hadith of the Week. Today's beautiful hadith of the week is say bismillah before eating and drinking. It is important to say bismillah when you eat and drink because Allah said that we should do so and he will reward us for doing so. Our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he did it and ordered his family and friends and those who are Muslims to also do so. Bismillah means in the name of Allah and it is also good to say bismillah before starting or doing anything. So Allah will be happy with you. So this week's hadith is always say Bismillah. Now guys, if you want to see more of our videos, all you need to do is go to our website, themuslimkidshow.com. We have a range of educational videos talking about science, the oceans, maths, the English language, and tons more. We even have cool games and cartoons you can watch and play. So make sure you sign up today and subscribe, guys. Yalla! Okay, guys, it's time to visit with Auntie K for story time. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the Tales of Mini Maryam on the Muslim Kids Show. My name is Auntie Kay and I'll be sharing the story with you today. Mini Maryam is a three-year-old, let's say inquisitive, caring, kind, but very mischievous little girl who lives in London with her sisters. Let's see what she gets up to in the Tales of Mini Maryam. Our first story trust in Allah. Maryam was thinking. First, Maryam thought, I want to play with my buggy. Teddy, Dolly, Kitty all need to sit together in my buggy for a ride. 
and then I'm going to take them shopping. Mariam pushed her buggy into the kitchen for a shopping trip. Hmm, thought Mariam. I'll need a plate, some spoons, a few glass jars, oven gloves, some bread and some biscuits. Mariam began to empty out all the drawers in Mama's kitchen, absolutely everything she could get her small little hands on. She piled them all into the buggy on top of poor old Teddy, Dolly and Kitty. They all looked perfectly happy being squashed. Slowly and very carefully, Mariam wheeled her buggy over to the living room. But there was a problem. Mariam's buggy began to wobble. Uh oh! panicked Mariam. My buggy isn't working properly. As Mariam gave the buggy one big push, it fell to one side and crashing out came the plate, spoon, glass jars, oven gloves, bread, biscuits, Kitty, Dolly and even poor old Teddy wasn't spared. Mama came rushing in and cried, Mariam! Mariam looked shocked for a few seconds, then looked at her mama and quietly said, Hasbi Allah! reminding her mama to trust in Allah and all was not lost. When you find yourself in a difficult situation, say Hasbi Allah, Allah is enough for me. Leaving home. Come on, Mariam, we need to get ready for nursery. Miss Mary will be waiting, mama said hurriedly. Mariam wasn't too sure whether she wanted to go to nursery that day. Mischievous Mariam enjoyed staying at home, playing with her toys, painting and drawing on everything, including the walls and bedsheets. Slow as a snail, Mariam got ready. Mama quickly grabbed Mariam's hand and charged towards the front door, stopping suddenly as she noticed the time. She sighed with relief. They were not late for nursery after all. What do we say before leaving the house, Mariam? Mama asked softly, to which Mariam looked up, beamed, and together they sang, Bismillahi to wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billah. When you leave your home, be sure to say this du'a, as our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that Allah will then protect you and guide you. Sneezing. It was a cold, dull, wet, and windy day. But that didn't stop Minnie Mariam from wanting to play in the playground outside. She swayed to and fro on the swings and glided smoothly down the wavy slide. She sat on Mama's shoulders, sailed along the monkey bars and slid down the fireman's pole. She made lots of splashes in muddy puddles and made friends with the beautiful ladybird. Finally, when it was time to go home, Mariam was feeling quite cold and by now had a red nose, cold fingers and toes. All of a sudden, she turned to her mama, took a deep breath and after the count of three, she let out an enormous sneeze, achoo! And quite promptly in her little voice said, Alhamdulillah. After we sneeze, we must say Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. If anyone else sneezes, be kind, and after they have said Alhamdulillah, remember to say Ya Hamukullah. May Allah have mercy on you. Mecca Mama, where is Abu? inquired a sad-looking brown-eyed Maryam. Abu is away on Umrah, Maryam, a trip to Mecca, replied Mama. But why? whined a frustrated Mariam. To walk around the Kaaba as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told all Muslims to do. Remember the rhyme, Mariam? Round and round the Kaaba? asked Mama. Yes, again, again, squealed Mariam as she placed her little finger on Mama's hand and began to move it in a circular motion, singing round and round the Kaaba. Like a little hajji, one step, two steps, closer to Allah Ta'ala. Just then, Mama received a picture on her mobile from Abu. It was a picture 
of Abu at the mosque in Makkah. He was sitting near the Gaba, dressed in his ihram. Look, Maryam, Mama said, here's a picture of Abu. Maryam looked at the picture in shock and said, Mama, ew, Abu isn't wearing any clothes. Mama laughed and said, of course he is. He is wearing ihram, two white pieces of cloth. And whilst performing Umrah, he has to leave one shoulder uncovered. Oh, said Maryam, looking slightly puzzled. Suddenly, Maryam's favourite auntie, Alia, called on the house phone. Can I speak? Can I speak? shouted Maryam, jumping up and down excitedly, trying to grab the phone from Mama. A very annoyed-looking Mama gave the phone to Maryam. Hello? yelled Maryam to her auntie, Alia. Assalamu alaikum, Maryam. How are you? replied auntie, Alia, calmly. In one big breath, Maryam replied, Assalamu alaikum, auntie. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm well. Where is your Abu? asked Auntie Alia. Abu is in Makkah showing his body to people, replied a very innocent Maryam. To Maryam's surprise, Auntie Alia and Mama began to laugh. Mama held Maryam in her arms, smiled and gently kissed her on the head. One day you'll understand, Maryam. One day, inshallah. Prayer time. Okay, everyone, prayer time, bellowed Abu happily. I want to pray. Can I pray? Can I pray? cried Mini Maryam. Of course you can pray, Maryam, replied Abu. Maryam hurriedly laid out all the prayer mats and raced around the house to grab hold of as many headscarves as she could find. As everyone stood in line together, Maryam stood too. And as Abu began to pray aloud, Mini Maryam did too. Maryam enjoys praying together with her family, mashallah. It is good practice to pray alongside your family. Our Prophet وسلم, said that children should be taught how to pray by the age of seven. Bismillah. It was dinner time at Mini Maryam's house. Mama, Abu, Maryam, and her sisters, Maliha, Iman, and baby Fatima, all sat at the table to enjoy their food. As they were all about to tuck into their food, Maryam cried out excitedly, Who said Bismillah? Oh, not me, whispered big sister Maliha, slowly laying her fork back down onto the table. Not me, said middle sister Iman, already with a mouthful of food. Baby Fatima just giggled. Oh dear. Not me, sighed Mama, and a red-faced Abu said nothing at all. Everyone looked around at each other and together sang out, Bismillah. Thank you for reminding us all, Maryam, smiled Mama. Before eating, don't forget to say Bismillah in the name of Allah. Mentioning the name of Allah when beginning to eat is a sunnah. And that's the end of the tales of Mini Maryam today. I hope you enjoyed the stories. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. MashaAllah, thank you so much, Auntie Kay. That was really cool. Right, guys, we're going to go for a super duper quick break, but make sure you stick around for our all or nothing quiz. Ooh! Make a note of the number below and save it because when we get back, you're going to need it, guys. See you in a bit. Assalamu Alaikum. The Muslim Kids Show!